Hey guys, so today we're going to show you how to connect the Metris LX7 to your Wi-Fi network using the static IP address method. The static IP address method is just one of three ways to get the LX7 connected to your network. With this option, you get to assign a specific IP address to your device rather than having your network assign one for you. As we go through these steps, you'll see exactly what needs to be done so that you can wirelessly connect to your LX7. To get started, go ahead and connect to your fixture via USB. Once you are connected, go to the communication settings page. Set the Wi-Fi mode to client and access point mode. Enter the exact name of your Wi-Fi network into the SSID box. Set the encryption to WPA WPA2 PSK. Enter your Wi-Fi network password into the Wi-Fi key box. Select Use Following Settings. Once you've done that, find the subnet mask and gateway by typing CMD into the window search bar. Type in ipconfig and press enter. Look for subnet mask and default gateway and ignore everything else. Enter that information into the respective fields exactly as shown in your Windows command prompt. No need to make any changes to the DNS field. Type in the IP address you wish to assign to this device into the IP address field. Make sure that the first three fields match the first three fields of the gateway. The remaining field is where you assign a number within the DHCP range of your network. If you don't know this range, log into your router settings and get the information from there. Make sure that you don't assign a number which has already been assigned to another device, otherwise the LX7 will not connect to your network. If you'd like to set up the fixture's built-in Wi-Fi hotspot, you can do so here. To get this set up, Simply give this hotspot a name in the SSID box and set a password for this hotspot. With those settings entered, go ahead and click Save Changes, then Disconnect. Wait 20 to 30 seconds before reconnecting via USB. Once you are reconnected, go back to the communication settings page. The assigned IP address of the fixture will be listed here. Save this IP address because you will need it to connect to the fixture via Wi-Fi using GHL Control Center or the app. Remember, when you make a new connection, type the IP address of the device into the host field. You can always verify the Wi-Fi connection by using Windows Command Prompt to ping the IP address of the fixture. To do that, simply type in ping followed by the IP address of the device. You'll know that your fixture is connected to your network if you get 4 packets sent and 4 received. That is how you connect the Metris LX7 to your Wi-Fi network using the static IP address method. Thanks guys for watching this video. Subscribe to our channel to get updates on new tutorial videos. If you'd like to see certain how-to videos, let us know in the comments section below. If you have any questions for us and need further support, you can always reach out to us on our GHL support forum or by email at info at ghlusa.com.